What's going on friends? Today we are going to take a look at one of the biggest issues with the Milwaukee 8 engine and it's the problem with oil sumping. Now this isn't a new issue to Harley-Davidson but the good news is you can get it fixed and you can get a nice little upgrade while you're already in there. When the Milwaukee 8 engine was introduced in 2017 we all kind of knew there was going to be some kind of issue with that engine as with anything in the first year. Well, this issue continued through 2019, but I think Harley-Davidson's got the fix and they finally got it straightened out now. Before we get too far into the video today, please don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy the video, and please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Now, part of the problem with the oil sumping on the Milwaukee 8 engine is that the Milwaukee 8 engine just doesn't have excellent crankcase ventilation. Now, oil sumping was also an issue on the shovel head engine back in the day, but back then the solutions were a lot simpler because the emissions regulations were nearly as tough as they are today. They were tough for the time, but not like they are today. Simply improving the crankcase ventilation by venting it to atmosphere was the easy solution to take care of the sumping problem on the shovel head engine. But with the Milwaukee 8, Harley-Davidson can't just exactly vent the crankcase to the atmosphere because the EPA is not going to like that too much and they're going to get very upset and give them another nasty gram, kind of like they did with the Screaming Eagle race tuner. If you haven't heard about that deal, it was a big mess where the EPA sued them. But anyhow, if you want to vent your M8 to atmosphere like through a vented dipstick, that is an excellent way to do it. And later on in the video, we're going to take a look at some options for doing just that. But first, let's look at the root of the issue with the M8, and that is the oil. The simple answer is, is that the oil pump that Harley-Davidson used from 2017 to 2019 just is not adequate for the Milwaukee 8 engine. The oil pump that Harley used from 2017 to 2019 scavenges about 60% oil from the cam cover area and about 40% from the sump. So you can already see we've kind of got an imbalance here as far as the oil scavenging goes. Now this is a huge problem because the Milwaukee 8 requires a very delicate balance of oil scavenging to maintain the correct oil pressure, oil volume, and to help keep the motor quiet and not let it overheat. So what's happening with the old style oil pump is oil is building up in the cam gear case and in the crankcase and this is basically dragging the crankshaft and just dragging the whole motor down and it's really leading to horsepower loss and a lot of friction. Not enough oil is being pulled out of the crankcase and being circulated through the engine so this is causing this huge imbalance with all the oil buildup down in the crankcase. Now while this oil is trapped in the crankcase it is getting beat into this froth of air and oil basically by the crankshaft as it's turning around because it's got nowhere to go. This is not good. So with all this aerated oil just kind of hanging out down there in the crankcase, none of this oil is really getting circulated through the engine, and it's also inhibiting the ability of the oil pump to return oil from the rocker boxes. So we basically end up with a really bad situation where we have too much oil in one area and not enough in another. The results are pretty nasty, and what happens is you start getting oil coming out of places you'd rather keep it in, like in between your gaskets leading to oil leaks. Then you might notice it coming out of your head breathers, which is eventually soaking and contaminating your air cleaner, filling it up with motor oil. And then of course you'll have a loss of oil supply, you'll start noticing maybe some clattering lifters, and then all this ends up in no place good, like accelerated engine wear and eventual engine failure. Now the worst part about all this is you'll probably never see an oil light because you're not really low on oil and you're not really losing enough oil pressure to trip the light. But if you're really paying attention to your engine, you'll probably notice some like really strange noises coming from it. And hopefully you have the mind to get it shut down in time before you experience catastrophic engine failure. Now, the only real true fix for this issue is to either A, get an oil pump for a 2020 Milwaukee 8 and replace that 2017 to 2019 model, or even better yet, go ahead and upgrade to a high-performance oil pump, which is going to be even better than the latest 2020 version. Now, the new oil pump offers a 50-50 split. 50% 50 of the oil is scavenged from the cam gear case area, and the other 50% is actually scavenged from the crank case versus the old 60-40 split that they had with the old-style oil pump, which, why they didn't do this in the first place, I don't know, guys. Now some of you with Milwaukee 8s may be running the old style oil pump 
and you may have never even had an issue that you're aware of. Now, if you're only riding short distances, that oil is gonna slowly build up into the crankcase and into the cam gear case area. And as you ride, you're really not riding long enough to notice an issue. And short distances, you stop, you shut the bike off, everything drains back down to where it should, you start the bike back up, the sump empties out, and you rinse and repeat. Now, if this is typically how you ride your M8 around town, just doing some bar hopping, you'd never notice the issue it was even brewing on the horizon. Now, on the other hand, if you ride your Milwaukee 8 really hard, or you ride it for very long distance for extended periods of time, you may have noticed some of the indicators that we talked about with lifter clatter, a little bit of power loss on hot days. Some of you guys might be thinking, oh, okay, yeah, now I kind of see what was going on if you didn't know already. It takes a little bit of time for the engine oil to actually build up, but the more you ride the bike and the hotter the oil gets, and the longer you're riding it, the more likely this issue is to actually present itself to you. Now, improving crankcase ventilation will help even with the older style oil pump, but in the end, the only true fix for the problem is to go ahead and upgrade the oil pump. And even if you have an upgraded oil pump, whether it be to the 2020 version, or it be with a aftermarket high performance oil pump, a vented dipstick is still not a bad idea. A vented dipstick will help quite a bit with blow-by, which blow-by is pretty common on the M8s due to their excessive crankcase pressures. Vented dipsticks also really help with the flow of oil through the engine, and they also help to keep that crankcase level in check. If you ride your Milwaukee 8 powered Harley hard, or you're building a big inch, big bore, high performance Milwaukee 8 engine, this only increases the crankcase pressures, which leads to more blow-by, and higher oil levels in the sump. Either way, a vented dipstick is an excellent idea on a Milwaukee 8 engine. Now you can either buy one, or you can actually make your own pretty cheaply and pretty easily. A couple of really good options for vented dipsticks are from Fuel Moto and A1 Cycle. And if you guys want to check those out, I'll leave some links to those in the description of the video for you. And you guys might take a look at those and decide, hey, I could build my own pretty easily. So guys, I hope this helped you out. If you already own a Milwaukee 8 engine, or if you're looking to upgrade to a Milwaukee 8, well, if you could call it an upgrade when you know enough about them, depending on what you ride, whether you have a Evo or a twin cam, you definitely may not see the Milwaukee 8 as an upgrade. But I wouldn't steer clear of the Milwaukee 8 engine, but one thing I would definitely do, make sure the oil pump is upgraded, and definitely, no matter what, add a vented dipstick. Anyhow guys, if you guys would like to see some options out there for upgraded cam plates with high performance oil pumps on the Milwaukee 8, let me know down in the comments. But anyhow guys, until next week, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing to the channel, but that's all I have for you today. So guys, next week, I'll be back with a fresh new video. So please, get out there, ride safe, ride smart. I actually just went riding today, enjoyed the hell out of it, and I dodged the cars, but be safe. And I'll catch you guys next week. Thanks for watching.